Hello everyone, welcome back to the must-have comic books of the week. My name is Jason, and we are at From Heroes to Icons. This week we will be covering the comic books coming out on Wednesday, January 29th, 2020. And I am tired. <laughs> um, the Clone Wars trailer coming out on Disney Plus looks phenomenal. And to me it is... Some of the best Star Wars quality work ever created. I know everybody has a um, really passionate and biased opinion about Star Wars and all of that. But The Clone Wars Pure Fire, hopefully it'll be in the same vein as the last six seasons. And uh, Flash 750 is coming out as Wonder Woman 750 came out last week. And I guess there'll be a million covers of that but this Francesco Mattina cover looks wonderful very very nice and I believe after that there's supposed to be the debut of a new villain in the upcoming issues of Flash but I'm looking to complete a few runs or semi runs whatever you want to call it of some series that I've been collecting. Definitely need a few more issues of the Super Sons. It's one of my favorites. And uh, the Silver Sofa run from the late 1980s. Apparently I'm missing quite a few of those books. But I'm going to try to fill in those gaps. So without any further ado, let's jump over into these comics. I'm going to start off with DC Comics. Action Comics 1019. By Brian Michael Bendis and John Remedia Jr. Have no hopes that it will look better. Uh, cover A is by John Remedia Jr. And cover B is by Lucio Perillo. Uh, there is a second print of Batman 86. I just put this cover up and made it black and white because there was no picture for what the cover would look like. DC Superhero Girls, uh, Giant Size Book, number two. Then we have Detective Comics Annual, number three, by Peter Tomasi and Sumit Kumar, who is the artist of these Savage Shores. Make sure you pick that book up. Uh, Dollar Comics, we have Detective Comics uh, 554, which I believe is a first appearance of the Black Canary. Or one of the first appearances. We also have another second print this week. A Doomsday Clock number 12. And also Far Sector number 1. We also have a second print of that. The Flash 87 by Joshua Williamson and Rafa Sandoval. Cover A is by Sandoval. And cover B is by Dustin Wynn. Green Lantern's Black Stars number 3 by Grant Morrison and XR Monaco. Liam Sharp is doing cover A, and Derek Robertson is doing cover B. The Justice League, 39, and this is uh, the finale, I believe, of the Doom Justice League War. And this is by Scott Snyder and Jorge Jimenez. Cover A is by Tyler Kirkham, and cover B is by Kenneth Rockford. It's funny that the last issue of this storyline and both of the... Uh, covers kind of suck um the last god number one is also getting a second print i don't know why this is like the week of the second printings last god number four by philip kennedy johnson and ricardo federici awesome book uh the terrifics number 24 and this i think this is the only age of heroes book that's still going figures Fantastic Four copycats. There are better Fantastic Four than the Fantastic Four has been. By Jean Louis Yang and Sergio Davila. Dan Mora is doing cover A and Michael Golden is doing cover B. Moving over to Image Comics, we only have two from them this week. Philadelphia number three by Rodney Barnes and Jason Shaw Alexander. Uh, Jason Shaw Alexander is doing cover A and Matteo Scalera is doing cover B. New book from Image, The Protector, number one, by Simon Roy, Daniel M. Benson, and Adium Trokonov. It looks pretty cool. Uh, next up, we have our indies. 
Something is Killing the Children, number five, by James Tinian and Wertha Del Adera. Del Adera is doing both cover A and cover B, which I don't think I have a picture of. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 102 by Tom Waltz and Sophie Campbell. Campbell is doing cover A, and Kevin Eastman is doing cover B. Uh, last up, we have Marvel Comics, The Amazing Spider-Man 347 facsimile. And I believe this is, a, I guess, a first appearance, if an island can have a first appearance, of Venom Island. And I don't even know why they have a facsimile of this, but whatever. The Avengers 26, uh, second print, and that is the first part of the star brand storyline and then we have avengers number 30 by jason aaron and ed mcginnis and this is the last part of the new star brand storyline and i take it that it's going to be the baby not the mother cover a is by miko suyuan and cover b is by kofam and that is a marvel x variant Captain Marvel, The End by Kelly Thompson and Carmen Nooner. Uh, Raza is doing cover A and Peach Momoko is doing cover B. Conan the Barbarian, number 12 by Jason Aaron and Mahmoud Ashrar. Asad Ribic is doing cover A and Ron Garney is doing cover B. Deadpool, The End by Joe Kelly and Mike Hawthorne. Raza is doing cover A. And Salva Espin is doing cover B. And we have uh, Doctor Strange, Surgeon Supreme number two by Mark Wade and Kev Walker. Cover A is by Max Fumara. Cover B is by Oliver Van Teen. And cover C is by Mike Huddleston. Doctor Strange, The End by Leah Williams and Felipe Andrade. Uh, Raza is doing cover A and Felipe Andrade is doing cover B. Fallen Angels number six by Brian Edward Hill and Simon Krugansky. Cover A is by Ashley Witter and cover B is by Jigon Young and that is a Phoenix 40th anniversary cover. Uh, Fantastic Four special number six facsimile and I believe this is the first appearance of Annihilus. Immortal Hulk number 30 by Al Ewing and Joe Bennett. Cover A is by Alex Ross. And cover B is by Mike Del Mundo. And that is a Marvel's X variant. Uh, Second print of Miles Morales Spider-Man number 13. And that is the birth of his baby sister, as you can see from the cover. New Mutants number 6 by Jonathan Hickman and Felvion. Cover A is by Rod Riaz. And cover B is a 40th anniversary Phoenix by Addie Granoff. Ravencroft number one by Frank Terry and Angel Unzetta. Kyle Hotz is doing cover A. Kim Jacinto is doing cover B. And cover C is by Ryan Brown. Spider-Verse number four by Taryn Killam and Juan Gideon. And that has one cover. Star Wars number two by Charles Soule and Jesus Sayez. And that is the only reason I'm buying this book is because of Jesus Sayez. Cover A is by R.B. Silva. Cover B is by Ben Oliver. And cover C is by Chris Sprouse. Uh, the second issue of Thor by Donny Cates and Nick Klein. Cover A is by Oliver Copel. And cover B is a design variant by Nick Klein. We have uh, two True Believers books, and that is a Thor book and a Black Panther book. Don't know exactly what they're about. X-Force number six by Ben Percy and Joshua Kassara. Cover A is by Dustin Weaver, and cover B is by Gerardo Sandoval. Uh, last book for Marvel, X-Men number five by Jonathan Hickman and R.B. Silva. Uh, cover A is by Leno Francis Yu. Cover B is by Chris Anka. Cover C is by Marcos Martin. And cover D is by J. Anacleto. Uh, moving over to our covers of the week. We have Flash 87 
by Dustin Wen, Captain Marvel, The End, The Cover A, Doctor Strange, Number Two, The Marvel X Variant, New Mutants, Number Six, The Phoenix Cover by uh, Addy Granoff, which is fire. X-Men number five, the J. Anacleto cover, also a Phoenix cover. And uh, the cover of the week is a book that I do not get and never have, but I just might pick this up just for the cover. Airboy 51 by uh, Jim Steranko, black and white cover. Magnificent. As for our books of the week, Avengers number 30. This is the finale of the new star brand. Then we have Thor number two, now the Herald of Galactus, as well as the King of Asgard, X-Force number six, which all X-Men fans seem to love so much. And uh, the book of the week, personally, is Batman Annual 3. And we finally get to see how Bruce handles life after the death of Alfred, among all those other second prints that have been put out this week. So, since I'm late, glad to make this fast and furious, and I will check you guys out, hopefully, on time next week. And I will catch you at the same bad time and at the same bad channel. Peace.